In this problem, we are given a VS chart, and what we are asked to do is draw the corresponding AS chart. The first thing we should recognize about this VS chart is we have two different functions for velocity. From 0 to 100 meters, we have a velocity that's given by 0.1s plus 5, and from 100 to 350 meters, we're given a velocity that we don't know what that function is, and we are going to have to figure it out. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to look at what's happening between 0 and 100 meters, 0 and 100 meters, and then look at what's happening from 100 to 350 meters. Now, the first thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to figure out what the equation of this line is. And the equation of this line right here is between two points. Well, one of these points is 115. The other point is 350 and 5. So now that we have two points, we have a straight line, we can fit it to the equation y is equal to mx plus b. But to avoid confusion, let's switch out y with v. And let's switch out x with s. And we'll solve it the same way. So we'll say my slope m is equal to v2 minus v1 divided by s2 minus s1. And this is equal to v2 is 5 minus 15 divided by 350 minus 100. So I can do this and I can say, all right, I have 5 minus, oops, I have 5 minus 15, and I divide this by 350 minus 100, and I get this is minus 0 0.04. So this is my slope. Now that I know my slope, what I can do is use that for m, pick one of these points, I'll pick 115 to put in for v and s, and I can solve for b. So I'll have 15 is equal to minus 0 0.04 times 100 plus b. And that becomes b is equal to 19. That means this equation of this line is given by v is equal to minus 0.04s plus 19. Now that I figured out the equation of the line, I'm going to look at what's happening between 0 and 100 meters. So this will be uh, between s is equal to 0 and 100 meters. What we need to do is we need to find an expression for velocity, or for acceleration, that relates our acceleration to our distance traveled. And we have one expression. We have our acceleration is equal to our function of the velocity times the derivative of the velocity with respect to s, or our position. Well, we have a function of velocity right here. That's a function of s. So if I look at what dv ds is, this is equal to 0.1s plus 5, and we're taking the derivative of this, with respect to s. So this is going to be equal to 0.1. Now I have everything I need. I can say my acceleration is equal to this velocity, 0.1s plus 5 times 0.1, and this is going to be equal to 0.01s plus uh, 0.5. And this is an expression I have for my acceleration. If we look at it, it's a linear term. And this linear term, we need to figure out what's happening at t, uh, s is equal to 0. So at s is equal to 0, my acceleration is equal to, this term goes away, so 0.5. And at s is equal to 100, this becomes a 1, and we get acceleration is equal to 1.5. And we are at a straight line. So this, we'll just say, is 
1.5. Okay, so we looked at what's happening from 0 to 100 meters. Now let's look at what's happening from S is equal to 100 meters to 350 meters. We're going to use the same expression for acceleration. We're going to have our acceleration is equal to d dv ds. Now the only difference is our velocity is now represented by a different function. So if we look at what dv ds of my new function is equal to, so that's the derivative of minus 0.04s plus 19 with respect to s, this is equal to minus 0 0.04. Okay, let's do the same thing. Our acceleration is equal to minus 0 0.04s plus 19 times minus 0 0.04. And this is going to be equal to, well, those negative signs cancel. So 0 0.0016 s plus i need to check what this is 19 times minus 0 0.04 this is minus 0.76 and this is our expression for acceleration again it's linear uh, and we need to now just check what's happening at zero or 100 seconds and what's happening at 300 and not 100 seconds 100 meters and 350 meters so when let's use a different color when s is equal to 100 what do we have we put 100 in for this s right here and we solve so that's going to be 0 0.016 times 100 Um, minus 0.76. So we get minus 0.6. My acceleration is equal to minus 0 0.6. And when S is equal to 350, we'll substitute that 350 in for S and we'll get 0. 0.0016 times 350 minus 0.76 and we get this is equal to minus 0.2. My acceleration is equal to minus 0.2. So right here we need to extend this graph down just a little bit. At 100 we're going to now go straight down and we'll stop at right, right about here and this is minus 0.6. And then we'll go up to minus 0 0.2 and it goes to about right here. And that's our graph. So now we've graphed our acceleration versus position graph.